I'm going to be talking to you about mosaic kits. Why would you want a mosaic kit? What is in a mosaic kit? And are they good value for money? Stay tuned and I'm going to tell you more. When you purchase a mosaic kit, what you are purchasing is an all-in-one product. They usually tell you what you've got and what you haven't got. This mosaic kit that I'm going to be showing you today is from Access Glass. It's part of their mosaic range. So here we have a clock. So this is how it comes. It's a clock face that you can do. So it's got a clock and a mechanism and I'm going to show you what's inside and what you can do with it. That's a really good question. The reason you use a mosaic kit is everything is in here for you. So with this particular project, with the clock project, Access Glass have got their act together. We have the glue, the tweezers, that is to glue all your stuff down. We have all the tiles, that includes the numbers are all in glass, plus a selection of purple. This is the purple kit. Now, the question is, can you add extra tiles? Of course you can, but all the tiles are here for you, so you don't have to add any extra. Also, for those people who are a bit unsure about what colors, it's all here for you. You've also got your clock face, plus the mechanism for your clock with the arms and the back of it. They've even inserted a battery, so you don't even have to worry about that. Plus, when you've finished, they've got the grout, a sponge and a paddle pop stick. It's all there for you. That's why you get a kit and we're going to be starting with this kit soon. This that I'm not going to use now, I'm going to put into a container for later so I don't lose them. So in goes my sponge, my grout, paddle pop stick, my clock mechanism, I don't need that yet, my battery, I will need the glue and I will need the tweezers, so they're going to stay. I will need my tiles and I've got my instructions, so we are ready to go. I will put these to the side. The thing I forgot to mention is you will need a pencil and a ruler, then we can get started. So we're back. We're ready now to do this. I've got a large piece of paper. It's just over 12 inches square. The first of the thing it says in the instructions is we need to draw around the circle, not forgetting to do the middle. So I've got it just about to the edges and I'm going to run my pencil around and then do the middle. The next thing it says is divide it, to divide it, it's hard to say, divide it into four equal parts. Now what I can do is I can fold this piece of paper. If I get my little center here, I can fold that in half. That's half. Now I can do my other half. And I should have four equal pieces. I'll just measure that to make sure. So I'll just mark it in a grey lead so you can see. And let's just measure it from corner to corner. That is just on 21, just a little bit over 21. Just a little bit over 20. So we're looking good now. I'm going to draw those lines in so they will be obvious. Now it says eight centimeters. So we're going to measure from here to eight centimeters and make a mark. I'm going to go from this corner, eight centimeters and make a mark. So let's go around. Now I can draw in my lines. And now we have our pipe all marked up. I can now transfer this 
onto my piece. When I take these lines out, they're a little bit wider, so it means that I can now mark all these lines onto my board. And now I can roll them up. doing this with a grey lead, sometimes it comes off. This is where you can get a Sharpie marker. So here is my permanent marker. And I'm just going to go over this. I did my pencil drawings first. Now I can go over it with my permanent marker. That won't rub out. Now I can keep working on it. into even 12 squares, we can now start thinking about our design. So it's up to you about what you want to do. So I'm just going to have a go and I'm going to see what I can design. And we do it on the paper first and once we're happy, then we will transfer it over to our actual clock. Everybody, thank you so much for watching Handmade Studio. If you liked what we did today, could you please hit the like button, ring that bell and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye from Cheryl Hanwoodlock and Alfred from Handmade Studio. Bye! <laughs>